Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Adolescence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm joined by my good friend Carlos. Hello. His information is going to be down below and what we're going to do today is I'm going to sniff blindly 10 fragrances by the company Roja Parfum and I'm going to pick my favorite. So make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin the video, I just want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, whether it be lists just like this video, kind of, fragrance reviews, giveaways, unboxings, interviews, all that good stuff, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Also while you're at it, make sure to subscribe to Carlos's channel and while you're at it a second time, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on that notification bell so they will get sent straight to your phone. You never need to worry about missing any of our future content. So. This is a company that you and I both love dearly. And we have many of their creations, and I should say many of Roja Dove's creations. And um, I have been wearing them throughout the years. I know I initially discovered them at Oswald yes. in Manhattan. So did I, and that's when I first met him too. Yeah, absolutely. And so um, I actually met him for the first time at Bergdorf Goodman. Mm -hmm. And um, he's such a fantastic person. You meet him in person and he'll take the time and talk to you and autograph bottles and whatever needs to be done. But these are fantastic fragrances. And I gotta be honest with you, I do wear all of them. I think they all have their time and place. And yes. so there are some that I love wearing exclusively in the colder weather, some in the hotter weather. But what we're gonna do here is you're gonna spray two at a time, right? <laughs> what? I didn't know this. He didn't tell me. I thought we were just gonna go through a bunch of roses together, but it's okay. Why don't you do that? And I know it's a little weird because I own them. And so um, yeah, I'll know what the, they are. We'll do the game. That's fun. It's always fun to have fun and do games. So cool. Let's do it. All so right. I'll go ahead and turn away so you can spray whatever it is you want to spray. What's that mirror thing in your lenses? <laughs> There's no mirror, I assure you. This is the first one. That's the first one. And I'm sure Mr. Redolescence will put annotations down below. That's one. The second one is this one right here. Here is number two. Thank you. Are they, um, did you put them both away? I did. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, the air is thick right now. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one that you gave me, so good, right? It's so good. They're both Sheepras. You have that warmth in the base. There's that resinous sort of quality about both of them that mm -hmm. is so delightful and they're so deep and warm and rich. And okay, I have really good reason to believe that the second one you sprayed is Diaghilev. Is it? Okay, yeah. Okay. So that's the one you like better? Um, it is the one that I like better. I gotta okay. be honest with you. There's just something about that animalic warmth mm -hmm. about it. And you have that really natural and organic smelling oak moss that's in there. And so I know the first one is uh, Danger. <laughs> yes, Mr. Threadless. Okay, anyway. You would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, I love, 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 love Diaghilev. Um, which is named after Sergei Diaghilev, who was the uh, ballet impresario, rich history, and... Um, Russian, right? Yes, absolutely. He did the ballet russe. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, this is definitely going to be my choice between the two. But that danger ain't no slacker whatsoever either. No, not at all. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Both of them are fantastic, and I would wear both of them in the same occasions as well. All right, so the next two are going to be... Uh, uh, it's going to be... <laughs> it's a good sounding sprayer. Yes. You can hear it actually, right? <laughs> That's number one. Okay. This is, I didn't show them the second one. Oh, my bad. Alrighty then. This would be the. So. That's too easy. Well, <laughs> I just know the first one is Elixir, right? Yeah. Um, just gorgeous floral peach apricot thing going on in there. Extremely feminine. <sighs> Yeah, it has that honeyed warmth about it. Ugh, my wife has worn this on a number of occasions and she kind of forgot about it for a few months. <laughs> and I had it here because I wanted to, I was thinking of displaying it somewhere on the shelf. And I said, okay, let me bring it over from Studio A. And um, she asked me if she could wear it a week ago because I was wearing this one, I was wearing Diaghilev. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, wear this one, it'll match. And so she ended up wearing Elixir and it was just, Incredible, absolutely amazing. This one, 
man, this one is nice too. You know what, for me, just because I'm a guy, I'm gonna go with B. All right, so okay. elixir, I love it, and I would prefer to smell it on my wife, although I see myself wearing it sometimes as well, but I'm gonna go with B today. Do we know what it is for, for, um, for extra fun points? I smelled a lot today, but I would guess Yes, we it's did. <laughs> a scandal? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm really not, I promise you, I'm it's not trying good. to show up. Although a part it, of me feels, would feel a little guilty if I weren't able to guess it, but, um, because I do wear them a lot. I do. Well, unlike my round that we did for my channel, these are thick and very sure. potent, and you can get the feel of them on paper. Some designers you can't. Yeah. So absolutely. in my defense, in case you see my video first. <laughs> <laughs> Which might be out as early as tonight, right? Yes. Next up we have this one. This is not one that I am aware of. Or that I've tried, I should say. That's one. And the next one is going to be this guy right here. There you are. Those sprayers, man. It's like we put a lavalier mic near the sprayers, right? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> are you doing some funny stuff? Not at all. I promise. How dare you? I'm insulted. <laughs> I know one of them is oligarch. <laughs> okay. And oligarch is one that... I have been wearing quite a bit now because I think summertime is the best time to wear it. It's just this really sort of nice, clean, citrusy, vetiver, woodsy kind of a scent. Are there two within your collection that you find to be similar-ish? Yeah, that's why I'm a little confused right now. I think that... Do you know which one is absolutely oligarch? I think B, yeah. Yeah. Is that the only like better of the yeah, two? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think I'm gonna go with so oligarch. So oligarch, I really wanna know you what are a winner, oligarch. You got a low name. It's got a low name, my friend. A midsummer dream. You know? Yeah, I have to I I have to go with Oligarch because it is the one that's most appropriate for this season. I think that a midsummer night's dream is such a lovely, such an amazing warm and resinous fragrance, but it's one that is a little bit more versatile as then you can wear it all year round, whereas Oligarch, I think, is very summer specific. It's very season mm -hmm. specific, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna spray myself because I don't have any experience with this. Sorry for the so, spray. No, please. Yeah, I love it. Love it, so good. Yeah, I, I right? see what you're saying. All right, okay. turn it around, brother. This is up next. I th I'm gonna give you a hint, but you, you don't really know what it is. Um, It was my first love from this company. This one right here? Yeah. That you just spray? Mm-hmm. Next one is this one right here. Oh, wow. He plays it off, oh man. He knows exactly what it is. <laughs> I know the first one is Amber Oud. My first love. <laughs> yeah. So good. It's, it's ambery with a very specific attention dedicated towards the resins chosen to create this amber oud. Oud? That one. Yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yes. If I had to choose between these two, I would go with... And that's the funny part because this one is not season specific, right? This is one I would wear in the colder weather. But my personal favorite, I would go with A. Yeah. Which with... is Amber Oud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to go with Amber Oud. Can you place this? Uh, he warned me. <laughs> <laughs> and what was B again? Vetiver. Vetiver. Yeah. Vetiver Cologne. Mm-hmm. Parfum cologne. Yep. We're down to our final round. We've only got two more left. Hope you've enjoyed and are having as much fun as we are. Hey, this is your channel. I'm sorry. Why am I emceeing you? No, but you are sort of the uh, <laughs> the person facilitating this whole thing. So thank you so much for doing that. Absolutely my pleasure. There you are. And number two. Number two. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, dude. Well, really? What are you really? doing in my life? What are you doing? You're going to make these two go up against each other? Yeah. Well, that's fre not right. that's fresh, not right. fresh, 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 fresh. That's not right. Summer. Yeah. So. Oh, you're, you're, you're torn that you have to pick one over the other. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> you know what it is? I've spent so much time with Elysium, mm -hmm. you know, since 2017, right? One or two. And I have... One or two is Olivia. The first one is Elysium, mm -hmm. yeah. And I've spent the past few years not only with D 
the... I'm not sure which one you sprayed, but I have both concentrations. You have the crystal one. The, yeah. Or the pure parfum one of that. You didn't spray any creation -y, huh? I feel like that would have <laughs> taken the cake. But um, this year I have fallen in love with Oceania. And I feel like for the first time I'm putting, I'm giving Elysium a break. Mm -hmm. And I really, really love Oceania. And so it's do a, I. <laughs> it's, a it's a difficult choice, but I'm going to go with Oceania. I love it so much. It's such a great fragrance. You chose wow. this one over Elysium. And uh, there you have it. Now, if you would kindly rate these three, two, one. Oceania would be number one for me at the moment. Then it would be Diaghilev. That would be number two. And I know even though if we're looking at it from a seasonal perspective, I would be inclined to choose Oligarch, but I'm going to go with Amber Oud for Amber number three. Oud. Yeah, there's just something about that one. But if you want my top five, you know, I love Scandal. I also love Danger as well. Enigma, had it been in this list, would have definitely been in the top three. But um, I it's absolutely too, love these. And then it was easy. Like, we know that we know that scent profile, like, right off the bat. That's the just thing, like too. The, just like this one I know now, too. Yeah, and you know what it is, if we, when we do this with a house that we're passionate about and that we love and we're familiar with so many of their creations, um, we can't help but not speak passionately about all of them. And that's the case with a lot of the companies like if, that we're familiar with. If we would have done like, for me, a, a by Killian, I would have yeah. known everything. Or a Tom Ford, I would have guessed most of them. So yeah. That's how it is, but um, <laughs> thank you so much for agreeing to do this. That was actually quite fun. Mm -hmm. um, the, the two that stumped me were A Midsummer Night's Dream and, and Vetiver, Oligarch. right? No, Oligarch against uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, yeah, that one stumped me, and then I wasn't sure what Vetiver was, but maybe that's because it smelled a little bit lighter in comparison to uh, the Amber Oud. Or maybe you just smelled some fine fragrances that are very potent. And yeah. you got a little nose tired. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, bro. That's that's it. I think I'm inclined to say the latter. But uh, thank you again. And thank you so much to everybody at home for tuning into this video. I hope you found it fun. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, I would love it if you could support this channel and what I do by subscribing to it. And once again, Carlos's information is going to be down below as well. So definitely make sure to subscribe to his channel for future uploads, which includes fragrance reviews, top lists, giveaways, and a lot more. Thanks again. I love you all, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.